Hi, it's uh, Dr. Clark here again, showing you uh, some tips and tricks uh, of data analysis using Lab Chart. Um, we're going away from the data sets that I've shown you previously um, because I wanted to introduce you to the Zoom window in Power Lab. The Zoom window is a window within Power Lab that allows you to interrogate data um, much more accurately in order to find out uh, small changes in time or small changes in, in um, volts measurements. So to do that, I'm going to use this data file, which is uh, actually from one of the diving uh, response practicals from previous years, but we're just looking at the, the ECG for a second here. Here is the ECG, and we can zoom in and zoom out, of course, until we see our ECG quite nicely. Let's just say we want to measure um, QT intervals, for instance, in this uh, ECG, and we want to measure QT intervals from tw between 24 and 36 seconds, so we want to measure all the all the QT intervals between 24 and 36 seconds. Well, let's say 24 and 34, that makes life a little bit easier. So to do that, we can select, in the uh, window we're interested in, select all of the ECGs between 24 and 34 seconds into a big black box like this, and then we go to the Zoom window. The Zoom window is under the Windows menu, where it says Zoom View, or it's up on the Windows box in the menu bar. And if you can't see this little box, you can right click in the menu bar and make sure you can see the box window. So you can click on the zoom window here and now it's loaded these ECGs into what's called the zoom window. You can interrogate them further so we've got from 24 to 34 let's only look from 24 through to 28 and now we've zoomed in even more and you can see we've got a much higher fidelity picture here and it's much easier to do analysis and we want to measure QT interval which is from the start of the QRS complex to the end of the T wave and we can measure that by holding our cursor over here and making a note of the time holding our cursor here and making a note of the time. You can see the time is shown where it says T equals. That's a bit complicated and a bit difficult so we're going back to our little friend the marker, the M here and we can drag and drop the marker on the beginning of the Q wave, here we are and then we can hold our cursor at the end of the T wave and it tells us that the time is delta 0 0.534 seconds, that's 534 milliseconds. Then we can drag our marker, drop it here, hold our cursor at the end of the T wave, 595 milliseconds. Write that down, on to the next one, 553 milliseconds, write that down, on to the next one, 539, and write that down, or write it into Excel on a on a separate window. So you can see it's very easy to do accurate measurements and if you are not sure about how accurate you're going to be you could actually highlight if you look each of your traces individually and redrop the M onto the Q and go to the end of the T and you can write them down that way. You can't scroll using this window it only goes uh, where you were so you want to you can go undo and go back or you can redo and go back forwards again. So a good way of doing it is to undo then twice and highlight the second, do the measurements on the second one, drop the M, take the reading, go back, and then do the third one and the fourth one uh, until you've finished all of the ones in this reading. So that's a quick way of using the zoom view. Um, of course you could use the zoom view for measuring how tall things are by holding the cursor on them and putting the M at the bottom. Of course for an ECG that's not applicable but I hope that gives you an idea of uh, the use of the zoom window.